A shallow one, shallow one, shallow one. Uh, first and foremost, call hello, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Yahweh Dash. Let me check my volume here. There we go. All right. Once again, double honors go out to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone. Ooh, well. Citations also go out to the fellow Akim out there on, who are out there on the highways and byways pushing the truth across the four corners of this earth. And it's got certain people shook, and that's a good thing. But we're doing this in a time allotted because, hey, time is very short. Uh, there are events that are happening that your local news are not and will not cover, all right, because the aim is to keep the majority of you people fat, dumb, and stupid. All right, that's all the local news is, is for, really. Uh, just to keep you, <laughs> you know, copper tops, as the apostles used to say, you know. Uh, you're just cogs in the, in the wheel, all right. Um, but in any case, uh, this video I'm going to talk about a fool. A fool in the vein of a Steve Irwin, someone that's out here in the wild, constantly tempting the Most High. And there's warnings against that, and eventually, eventually it's going to happen. And in this case, it's happened again. You have an Edomite, all right, a so called expert in handling wild animals and again tempting the most high and clearly it says thou shalt not tempt <laughs> all right uh, the most high your God uh, <laughs> but again you have to understand uh, who you're dealing with here, all right, in that uh, this is the wicked, and he was never known. Now, he is, in being the wicked, part of his blessing, we know that being the sword, but the other is his ability to deceive, so... This is a man that's, what's the word? In fact, let's look that up. Let's look up. Uh, let's see. Conceited. There we go. All right. It says, as an adjective, Endowed with fancy or imagination. Entertaining a flattering opinion of oneself. Vain. Uh-oh. Didn't King Solomon warn of that? In Ecclesiastes? The preacher, right? That's King Solomon. All right. So, uh, <laughs> what's the other one? Curiously contrived or designed, fanciful. Let's see, let's go to Merriam Webster's. All right. Let's see. Having or showing an excessively high opinion of oneself. And that's these Edomites. Proud. These devils are proud. All right. Let's see. Do, do. Synonyms. Assured. Complacent. Egotistic. All right. Self-important. Self-satisfied. All right. Let's see. Stuck up. Vain. There go that word again. Big-headed. Biggity. <laughs> Prideful. All right, I think you get it smug, vainglorious. There's a word you haven't, I haven't heard in a while, vainglorious. 
all right so all that in order let's go to the guest of honor here it's quite a relaxed mamba you might be saying dingo are you mad have you seen the thing going all over the floor yes i saw it and it's ag oh wow, i don't want you coming a YouTube reptile handler known as South Africa's Steve Irwin has passed away weeks after suffering a venomous snake bite. Graham Dingo Dinkelman died on October 26th, and his wife, Kirsty, confirmed the sad news on social media, sharing in a statement that he was surrounded by family in his final moments and had spent the month after the incident fighting, quote, incredibly hard to survive. His presence has brought so much warmth, love, passion, and laughter to our lives, as well as all of those who knew him, loved him, and supported him. We love you, Dingo, and we will always celebrate your incredible impact on each of our lives, the message continued. Dingo gained an online following for his videos featuring alligators, insects, and various snakes, including cobras, anacondas, and black mambas. You know I love king cobras, and the king cobras will think, but this black mamba knows what he's doing. Here I'm far away from him. If I come here, watch him. As I drop this knee here, you see how his head just slowly moves like here? He's watching me. Kersey previously shared on his Instagram account that he had gone into anaphylactic shock after the bite due to a venom allergy and he was placed in a medically induced coma. All right, this guy had an allergy. All the more reason for you not, not to be around something like that. Again, a fool. A fool. Wow. And, you know, I got to bring this out because <laughs> we use this, but this may be very well a case of where you have a literal snake. <laughs> biting and therefore killing a figurative snake in the sense that this is what Edomites are all right and when we get down here all right to number 13 you know we usually know never trust our enemy you know and then we get down here to 13 uh Sirach 12 and 13 who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beast is the question. A fool. A fool. And now, Mr. Tough Guy is in the ground, left behind a family. You know? Um, wow. Crazy, right? <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Oh. Let's go to, uh, hold on. Oh. Uh. Matthew. Let's go to Matthew four. <laughs> like, wow. Because this is, uh, the actual spiritual demon Satan. All right. Um, coming at Yahweh Shai, and he's using scripture. And this is verse 6 And saith unto him, If thou be the Son of the Most High, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. And Yahweh Shah is, comes at him with scripture. Yahweh Shah said unto him, It is written again. Why would he say again? It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt 
the Lord thy God. And that's what this whole man's career was about, tempting the Most High. And he paid the ultimate price. Hmm. Let's continue. Prior to his death, she last updated fans on October 9th to share that he was still in the ICU. Dingo and Kersey shared three young children, and the family appeared by his side in multiple videos over the years. The conservationist's last YouTube segment was posted in late August and featured his son assisting him with a cobra operation. This guy is strong enough to probably break and come through a club. He's got a massive bite. Come back at me. Masters of the universe types. You have them here. You know, he's out in the wilderness. You have your, in the city, you have your, your stockbrokers, your, your bankers, and things like this. You know, or I should say things like this. People <laughs> like this with this mindset that, you know, uh, we, we command everything, even when it comes to nature. You know, uh, what was that movie back in the day? Was It, it, was, it comes from a book. What is it? The, bon, the bonfire of the vanities? Yeah, those types of motherfuckers. I believe in the movie, Tom Hanks was uh, played the, the lead role. All right. Um, <clears throat> yeah, these are masters of the universe types. It's mindset, you know. Hey, that's good, you know. This is an actual heathen, you know. He has no uh, spiritual father, so to speak, you know, that goes into... Um, Hebrews 12th chapter, from 6 on down. Mm -hmm. All right, so in the beginning of that is Genesis 4th chapter, I believe, 14th verse. All right, that's where that, that lineage of, of, of wickedness starts, um, you know, with Cain. So, uh, yeah, let's get, uh, let me see here, uh, Proverbs. Well, let's see here. <laughs> Proverbs 12 and 15. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. Hmm, I wonder what kind of counsel would have been beneficial to, hmm, hmm. Like, stay away from poisonous, venomous <laughs> snakes for one. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. But in any case, <laughs> here we have an example again of a fool. <laughs> then again, you wouldn't know now because you're dead. Wow. All right. Yeah, this is going to be a short to the point <laughs> uh, like nothing else to see here all right once again dingo dinkelman all right from south africa no less he was the south african steve Irwin. and what happened to steve Irwin? well <laughs> the same thing that happened to this guy he did fucking around and finding out all right some things aren't to be messed with, and it's only a matter of time, all right? All right, you can't keep tempting the most high, all right? So with that, I hope you uh, were edified with this short video. And uh, hey, once again, that's what we do here at Great Millstone, all right? Filter everything through the scriptures. So with that, until the next video, hey, shalom.